Yo, what up YouTube? This your boy AG, man. I'm coming back to you again with another quick tutorial. Um, one of my subscribers had hit me up. They have uh, was asking some questions about actually how to put together a drum loop. And um, they, they said they had a problem with keeping the rhythm and the timing. So machine actually has a function, uh, a step edit function. So you can use that um, for making your drum tracks too. So that's what I did, man. I went on and put up a, a quick little drum loop, kind of like a southern feel. Um, that way he can see the basics of putting it together. And uh, hopefully this helps somebody else out. Alright, first what you want to do is find your um, your kit or load your sounds up. So we're going to go ahead and load some sounds up right now. Alright, you're going to use the 808 Southern Kits. So you want to deselect the pattern and go ahead and hit load. Alright, so it's loading up now. Alright, there you go. It's loaded. So now what we're going to do is select the sound that we're going to go ahead and lay down first. Um, some people like to select uh, their hi-hats first, but I'm going to go ahead and start off with the um, with the kick. So, got that one selected. Alright, you know because it's lit up. Alright, now we're going to go up here to the top. Right next to control is step. So, we're going to hit step. And that's going to take you to your step edit function. First of all, you want to find out how many bars you want it to be. So right now it was at one bar, so we're going to take it to, to two bars just to make it a, a little bit longer so that way we can give a little bit of variations with the drums. Um, the next thing, these 16 pads right here is going to represent um, the actual hits of the beat. So this is 16, 16 hits within that one bar. So every every hit you got the opportunity to put kick or snare or whatever and most of the times you want to start off with your kick on the one so we're gonna put it on the one and then you can play it and hear how it sounds and what it'll do is gonna go through those two bars and then start back over so we're gonna hit that alright so that's on the one it comes back again and I'm gonna go ahead and slow the tempo down some. That way we can get a, get a nice little tempo going on too. Um, take it down to probably about 94, 95. All right. So we got that first kick. And most of the time your snares is gonna be on the five and the thirteen. So you will put your snare on pad five and thirteen, and any other pad between there. Um, it's, you can put your kick on. So it, it's just all about your rhythm that you want to work with. So let's try. Let's try. Let's try the 11. See how that sound. I don't like that. So. Okay, so that's that got a nice little beat to it. Alright, so we're going to go to the second bar. And how you do that, you can either hit this button right here. That's going to take you to the second bar. Or either you got two toggle buttons up here where it'll take you to the second bar. So, going to go back to, to the one and put the kick on the one again on the second bar. And I'm going to go ahead and try to... And also you have um, some tabs up here where you can hit to actually take the velocity down half or you can keep it on full. So with this one right here, I'm going to take it down to half. That way you can get a little swing out of it. Alright, so you got something going on right now. We're going to go ahead and put the snares in. And that way you can get a feel of the rhythm. Alright, so to put the snares in, you want to hit pad mode. And then you can find the snare that you want to use. And I think I'm going to go with this one. So we're going to select that. Alright, so we're going to go back. Take it back to the first bar. 
And like I said, the snare normally is on a 5 and a 13. So we're going to go ahead and put that. We're going to put that on a 5 and a 13. And we're going to play around with it until we get a nice little rhythm going on. Alright, so now you can see that it's starting to form a little bit. So now we're going to go back and we're going to throw some hi-hats in. Again, you want to hit pad. You want to find your hi-hat hi hat that you want to use. We're going to use this one right here. So, let's go back to the first bar. To the first bar. And I'm just going to select all the pads. That way we're going to have them on each beat. Alright, so once we select all of them, we're going to have a nice low rhythm. Alright, so you hear that? Now what we can do is, we can go ahead and throw a couple of open hi-hats in there. So let's try to find some of that. So we're going to go back again to pad. Then we're going to use this one right here. So you want to try to figure out where you want to put it at. Go back to the first bar first. So you want to go. Or however you want to do it. We're going to put it right there. And you can throw another one maybe right here. Let's go to the second bar. Let's throw another one right there. One to four. And I don't know if y'all can really hear that, but basically, cut it up just a little bit. Alright, now you got a, a little rhythm going on here. So what you can do is now you can start, say, sprinkling other sounds. Maybe you can layer that, that snare with a clap. So we're going to do that. Let's do that. So remember, again, you want to go back to the first bar. And the snare, again, was on the 5 and the 13. So we're going to just layer it on top of the other one. Go to the second bar. Alright, so you got a little layer going on with that. Now what we can do, we can go back and see if we can put some, some rows in there. Some tom rolls. So let's let's try to go from here. Yeah, I don't really like that. So you can unselect them. Let's go and select this one back. Take all of that off. And again, you can just play around with it and find what beat you know works with you. And then after you finish here, what you could do is go back, hit control, which you take it off the step. And now you since you got the base of your drum track, you can go ahead and start just sprinkling stuff up in there yourself. So say for say for instance if you wanted to throw that in there, you could, you know, hit record and just start throwing it in there. You know, I know that's kind of loud, so let me cut that down some. And you just start switching around, you know, maybe you can... Find you some crashes or whatever, throw it up in there.
let's throw some let's throw some uh, shakers up in there let's see how that go and you just start keep on building and you just you know come up with your own tracks but this is a great way for people that don't know how to play you know, as far as getting the rhythm of, of a drum track, you can always use your step at it. And that way you got the drums laid out. All you're doing is really just placing the, the instrument on the, the, the hit that you want it to be on. So that's real easy. You don't have to worry about timing or anything. It's just basically you're just trying to figure out where you want to put it at within that beat or that rhythm. And you just place it there. And for those of y'all that want to get in contact with me outside of YouTube, man, I done set up pages everywhere. So... I'm all over the place, man. Just look up AG Got Beats and you should find me on, you know, on your Twitter, your Facebook, uh, SoundCloud, SoundClick, Reverb Nation, wherever you go, man, wherever you pretty much, you know, be at. Look me up. I'm there. All right. Don't forget to check out AGGotBeats.com. That's, that's going to be my new website and pretty much you can get to, you know, every other page from there, man. So I have exclusive tutorials on there. I have uh, drum kits. Um, I'll be blogging. I'll be, you know, talking about all kind of different things, man. So, you know, check me out. All right. Peace.